We're going to look at this model in more detail, starting with something we all know a little about, consumption spending by households, represented in our economic equation by the letter C. Now, as you'd imagine, consumption spending is everything households spend on the goods and services they consume. Here in South Africa, households are responsible for approximately 62% of all spending in the country. Think about all the other spending that goes on in our country. Government spending on roads, hospitals, education, salaries, municipal services, the army, the police. Then, what about businesses and everything they buy? Buildings, equipment, even whole other companies. But together, all this other spending only adds up to 38% of all the money spent in South Africa. We consumers spend the other 62% every year. This is incredibly important, especially in the current economic climate. It points to the fact that any real change in household spending behaviour has a major impact on the economy. The impact is so significant that we must try to understand what factors affect household consumption spending. In any economy, the impact of changes in consumption spending can be so dramatic and have such wide-ranging consequences that we really need to look more closely at what affects the spending behaviour of households. All right then, where do we start? What causes households to change their consumption spending? to spend more or spend less. We went to find out. Um, obviously, if you've got money in your wallet or you've got money in your bank, um, that would probably be the determinant factor there. Since I, I'm not employed anymore, I don't have anything to spend, and the little that I do have, I have to really hold on to, to that. It all depends what I finish by my debts. Yeah, I would say it's a makeup, yeah. I mean, if I had more money, I'd probably, I probably would spend more. Yeah. The more you have, the more you spend. Well, obviously my income, if I had more money, yeah, I would more expensive cell phone and all those things, obviously. My income, it does influ influence what I want to buy. If I had unlimited funds, I would buy everything that I liked. So for most of us, how much or how little we spend depends on our income. Now, that won't come as a big surprise, but it's a fundamental building block in the Keynesian model. Of course, there are other factors too. There's access to credit, past investments, savings or pensions, expectations of future price changes or changes in interest rates and so on. But the one factor that affects our spending more than anything else is our income. Household income is denoted by the letter Y. Any rise in household income will cause an increase in their consumption spending, C. Likewise, a decrease in income will reduce consumption spending. And how do households get this income? Well, for most of us, we work. We trade our skills and effort to firms, and in return, we get paid. In economic language, we offer whatever factors of production we each have to firms in return for an income in the form of wages and salaries. Now, some more entrepreneurial households sell other factors of production in return for rent, or interest, or company profits. But for most of us, we trade our labour for a salary. Using our circular flow model, we see that households derive income by making factors of production that they possess available to firms. Firms then use these factors of production to produce goods and services. In return for the use of these factors of production, firms pay households, and this payment we know as income. For most households, income consists of the wages and salaries they receive in return for their labour. Now, what do households do with their income? Yes, we spend most of what we earn buying goods and services, 